y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 4 seasons so today we are going to be taking clara and wyatt on a double date if you guys don't recall in the last part wyatt and clara had the day off and they bonded a little bit talked about their relationships and wyatt had previously been acquainted with philippe and you know was kind of talking him up to clara and later you know asked her would you like to maybe go on a double date to a lounge or something just have a nice night out with a few drinks and just you know enjoy yourself and have fun with somebody that you know i think that you could possibly you know get on with and she was a little um cautious at first but she has decided that she is going to give it a go she is currently working on what kind of flower is this again um i think it's a Oh, I don't know. Something summer morning, chrysanthemum, something like that. Uh, she just returned from work not too long ago. And she got a promotion, so she is now a leaf cutter. You go, girl. Also, we have Sophia. She's so cute. Sophia and Dalton are staying the night. Oh my gosh, she's up here having a fit. Are staying the night with Dalton for a few days. Not Dalton. Staying the night with Carter. Oh my god. For a few days. Um, you know, because she doesn't have her own place. She can't really afford it on her own. So, thankfully, she has really good parents that, you know, open their door back to her, you know, and she's been staying there. But it's kind of hard for her. It's kind of hard. I can't talk. It's kind of hard for her and Carter to really see each other with their busy work schedule and then taking care of a toddler. So, every now and then, she will come and stay with Carter. And, of course, Carter loves it. He wishes everything that he could go ahead and propose to this woman, have her move in, and then like, they just make this, you know, perfect little family together. But, being that he has his sister here and Wyatt and he knows that Sophia is not quite ready to take that step yet. He, you know, he's okay with her just spending the night every now and then. But looks like Wyatt got promoted to project manager and he is feeling himself, which he should because of his damn daddy. Uh, and Carter, he's so cute, was promoted to senior manager. All right, so they're moving on up. But I think I want to make sure we have Wyatt. Um, you know, ready for his date and Claire as well. I think she definitely needs to, let's add a vase real quick. Let's add a cute little bird nest vase. One, yeah, cute, okay. We'll get that later and maybe move it in the house somewhere. But I do want her to come upstairs and take a bubble bath and try to pick out a cute outfit to wear tonight. I'm not really sure where I'm going to have them go. If somebody can please come in here, maybe you, Wyatt, considering this is your dog's crap, and throw it away. <laughs> that is so freaking gross. And Carter is up here loving on Dalton. How is his knees? It's like he's doing all right. Um, but yeah, she has been over the past two nights, but I think they will be going home tomorrow. Um, she doesn't like to invade too much because it is pretty crowded around here. Who's calling her? Her mother is wondering if I want to meet her someplace. No, <laughs> I have other plans here and you're not one of them. Sorry. But anyways, yeah, I, I was going to have them possibly... Hey, I need to get out of the house. Do you want to join me for dinner at Bamboo Walk? Hmm. I wasn't going to have them go to dinner. I was actually going to have them go to like a lounge or something. I was going to feed them at home first. But since Stevie has called Wyatt and invited him on a date, I think we're going to make it a double date and just have them go ahead and grab some dinner with each other. You know, why not? So we're going to take Clara and Philippe. And fingers crossed, everything goes well. All right, so we are now ordering our food. And here we are with Philippe, for those of you who don't remember him. I haven't seen him without his beanie. Uh, he's got an interesting style. He's really handsome, though. I don't personally think he's much of... Oh, okay, I guess it's a little hot outside, babe, right? Like that crop top. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think he's much of her type, but it looks like she's complimenting him, so she must think he's good looking, and, you know, maybe she should go outside of her box a little bit, and sometimes just not go for your typical type, and just kind of see, you know, what happens with other people, because sometimes opposites attract, so, so far so good, looks like they're getting on, um, so let's just have her, you know, tell him a funny story, and Stevie's kind of just sitting here awkwardly, because, um, yeah, she's 
been out with Claire a few times, but she doesn't know either one of these people. And Wyatt, I guess he had to really use the restroom, so he kind of just like ditched her. And she's like, okay, uh, excuse me, <laughs> gonna give you two a little bit of privacy. Um, I did want them to go to the lounge after this, maybe just you know have a few drinks. Um, I wanted them to kind of be dressed a little bit more. Uh, fancy, I guess you would say, but it looks like everybody's just kind of chilling um, in their everyday wear, which I'm not really sure what this wear is for him. Um, it definitely looks out of place considering they're having a heat wave right now, but you know what? We're just, we're gonna let it slide. It's okay. It's not a big deal. He's like, yeah, it's freaking hot. Like, yeah, I do. You take the jacket off, you know? <laughs> Let's ask him about his career. Just kind of get to know him a little bit. All right, so he is a personal trainer, okay? So he's athletic, and she's gonna tell him, oh yeah, that's awesome, you know, I've been, you know, trying to work out myself and get back in shape and, you know, be more healthy. And he's like, yeah, I can definitely, like, you know, show you some tricks uh, and tips, workout tips and, you know, diet tips and stuff to get the results that you want. Just like, yeah, I would, I would love that. Thank you, sweet. All right, Stevie, what are you doing? She's over there, oh, wow, what is her problem? It's like, ever since they kind of woohooed, she's been feeling a little bit uneasy about Wyatt. Obviously, she's 100% smitten with him. But at the same time, um, I think that she's just a little cautious of the fact that she kind of gave it up on the first date, you know? And she's like, well, maybe I ruined it. You know, maybe... I don't, I don't know. I don't know why she's feeling that way. I think that's just kind of typical what, you know, most girls would think in this situation. But she seems to be kind of standoffish. And I think Wyatt's, you know, definitely noticing that. And, you know, maybe it's the fact that instead of having, you know, a one-on-one -on -one day, he, she did call and ask him out. And he was like, hey, um, actually, what do you think about me inviting Clara? Clara and Philippe and she's just like oh okay but yeah she's just gonna go with the flow I guess and like I said he does notice something's a little off with her and you know he does like her he honestly I think he is kind of forcing it personally just because as good looking as he is you would think that he would just be you know a man's man and he'd just be a little player but he's honestly just always waited on the one and he's always you know looked up to his parents relationship and he's never been in love or in this serious relationship and he feels like when he knows he knows and he kind of is feels like he might just be kind of forcing it with her because he was like well let's just see how it goes and part of him thinks it shouldn't be let's just see how it goes it should be like that's the one there's just this undeniable like click between me and this person so i don't know we'll see but it looks like he is um checking you know, what time the lounge opens and everything and they're all finishing up their dinner and i think that we're gonna go to a bar or something maybe not a lounge i'm not really sure we'll see all right so i decided to bring them to this little cafe pub type little lot <laughs> see there's like a little pub on this side and a cafe on this side which obviously it is functioning more as a bar right now and Wyatt is just order some EAPAs for the group it looks like they've changed into their heat wear outfits because oh I like those man bonds Khaled 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 DJ Khaled okay stop <laughs> oh my god Philippe those short shorts interesting but I, I like that definition in the legs interesting yeah i don't know i don't think he's really her type honestly but you know we're, we're gonna knock anything um i love how she's on a date a double date but yet she is just so focused on wyatt and wyatt is so focused on her and he's not even paying any attention to poor stevie beside him okay now he is whatever okay but he's just like yeah what do you think what are you thinking she's like oh he's nice um don't really know if he's my type but yeah, no, I'm not going to knock anything yet. Uh, he felt like he's overheard the conversation back there. He's like, what'd you say? <laughs> but I think he definitely thinks she's a very pretty girl. But, you know, I kind of think that he feels the same way. Maybe there's just really not um, a connection there right away. As far as, you know, not his type. I feel like his type would be more like Stevie, you know. Um, and Wyatt, they're just kind of not really like alternative, but... 
not as girly as Claire, I guess, but she is about to pee on herself, so let's go to the restroom, and, um, and then I guess we really need to, you know, kind of pay attention <laughs> to our day and see if we can get to know him a little bit. It's like Wyatt's over here hanging out with Irene, playing some cards. Um, we have a last exception caught by MCCC, MCCCC, whatever. Um, hopefully our dates don't leave us. That would be bad. I'd be very upset. <laughs> it looks like they did, though. I, does anybody? No, I don't, I don't see our group. I really don't. I just keep seeing the stupid, stupid thing saying that <laughs> there's an error. Okay, yeah. Where did that? Did our dates ditch us? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? All right, so I think we're just gonna have her come over here to Wyatt and be like, um, where did Philippe and Stevie go? Um, they're nowhere to be found. And he's like, what? I didn't even notice. And she's like, well, you know, maybe that's why. Maybe we kind of ignored them. You know. <laughs> I mean, we kind of have been conversating a lot and not really bringing them into the conversation as well. Maybe they felt a little bit awkward. And he's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> maybe maybe that is the case. I don't know. But anyways, I think that's kind of freaking muggy that they kind of ditched us off like that. You know, without even saying bye. Regardless, you know, if they felt like these two were on their own personal little date say something you know don't just freaking leave I mean that kind of pisses me off and you know like I said Stevie was kind of already like apprehensive about it at first and cautious about it because he invited Claire on like a double date and I think she's insecure and feels like maybe there's something there between him and Claire and then Philippe's just kind of like you know not my really my type and they kind of were discussing it and it's like well, you know what let's just leave them alone let's just let's just let them have their time together if that's what they want so I guess they just left which you know what fine these two are just you know we're not gonna sweat it while we're out let's just let's have a good time i'm not ready to go home are you she's like uh i mean it's getting late but no i guess we can hang out a little bit that should be fine and he's like well you know what's out back you know we can go skate again and she's like really we've been drinking you really think skating's a good idea you know, might be a little bit clumsy, and he's like, well, just, let's, let's, come on, let's just have a good time, you know what, live a little. So, they're gonna skate a little bit, and hang out, and I guess kind of talk, you know, once again, about their relationships. Wait, where is she going? Where are you going? Oh, okay, are they not going to skate? Or maybe he's not feeling it? I don't know. Anyways, let's just have her come over here and have a deep conversation with him, and be like, well, you know, I feel really bad if she left because, you know, she thinks that I'm a threat. And he's like, no, I mean, don't feel bad about it. Um, I mean, things have kind of been a little off between me and her anyways. You know, she, I feel like maybe I was forcing things that I shouldn't have been forcing. Um, I don't know. Let's just have them come over here and sit and chat here on this bench, you know, I think they're definitely need to be going home shortly, it's getting really late, it's like freaking one o'clock in the morning, but these two, there's just like not a lot for them to run out, uh, that, that didn't come out right, <laughs> I mean, these two can just talk all day is basically what I'm saying, and it's starting to rain, um, but I do want, you know, him to, you know, say, uh, I, I'm sorry if, you know, I, I picked the wrong guy for you, and now I kind of see that maybe, you know, y'all aren't each other's, you know, cup of tea. And she's like, no, seriously, it's fine. It really, really is. Thank you for trying. It really does mean a lot to me. And he's like, well, you know, it's, uh, it's getting a little bit rainy. What do you say we, uh, well, I guess we could go back inside, but, you know, what do we say that we just, you know, head on home and, you know, call it a night, maybe try again later, kind of maybe talk to him and see what's going on tomorrow, but let's just call it a night. She's like, yeah, sounds good to me. So let's head on back home with these two.
Alright, so it is the next morning and Claire is about to go to work, but I'm going to have her do a little bit of laundry. Well, it just glitched out. I'm trying to have her do a little bit of laundry because it looks like things are starting to fill up. I think the boys are still asleep. Sophia and Dalton have left... Um, I don't know. I think that we'll we'll be seeing them back shortly. I do like having them over, but it's just kind of a full house. There's not a lot of room, if you know what I'm saying, for a toddler. You know, he doesn't have a lot of space to run around, a lot of space for his toys. So, you know, Carter understands that, you know, he kind of needs a little bit more space um, before he can have his woman, you know, move in but you know he is definitely planning on proposing and I had mentioned earlier that she's not quite ready for that yet and that's the truth she really isn't um you know she knows Sophia knows that she wants to be with Carter you know more than anything that's this is the man that she wants to marry he's proved himself to her in so many ways but at the same time you know they haven't been together very long you know they've known each other for a long time but they haven't been together for you know enough time to you know make it acceptable in her eyes you know to pursue you know the next step which is marriage and Wyatt is up and I do believe he has work today yes he does it is almost fall time wow these seasons like go by so fast like the, the week flies by you know what I'm saying but anyways yeah he doesn't really know what to think about the double date that went horribly wrong um he definitely is gonna have to talk to stevie today at work because you know they do work together and kind of find out where her head is and what happened you know why did she leave because he did sense that she was a little bit off you know the whole date um and yeah he kind of feels bad that he kind of put claire in that situation because you know claire kind of expressed to him on the way home that she feels like Stevie doesn't like her because, you know, maybe she's threatened by it and she's like, I don't know, does she think that there's something between you and I? And he, his head is just, his it's mad. She doesn't know what to do. He's like, what have I done? What am I going to do? But yeah, he's like, no, I mean, I don't know if she thinks that, you know, there's anything between us necessarily, uh, but don't feel bad about it. It's really not a big deal. Like, don't ever feel bad my game is glitching out is anybody else's glitching out um maybe i need to update mc the mccc back. why is that so hard for me to say <laughs> but yeah I, I keep having lots of glitches and i keep having you know my sims leave every time i have an outing and then i have to like oh they, they left and make it into a storyline because you know if i didn't i'd have to start all over and try to keep them there to make the storyline go right which you know i, I can play off i really can but Anybody else having problems, you know, gl with glitches coming out, which I know we're going to be getting a new pack soon, um, and then a new update with free stuff in October, which I'm super duper excited about, but uh, no, don't go over there and view that. Why don't you uh, talk about the thunderstorm, you know, chat with Carter. I just feel like Carter and Wyatt, they don't see each other much. They're best friends, and I guess they're like work schedule and everything and just they're both in you know relationships well Wyatt kind of is keeps them from you know really like having their little bromance and bonding and I love how they're shaking hands like they're not best friends it's kind of weird but anyways yeah I think that uh, well they're going to work but <laughs> I think that we're definitely going to have to have them hang out maybe have a bros night one night and try to kind of figure out you know what's going on in Wyatt's head and you know what's going on with Sophia and Carter in the next step in their relationship. While everybody's at work, can we just take a second because I'm such a sucker for the details in The Sims 4. I love it. Just the, the rain, the way the trees blow in the wind, the way the sky light up and the rain slants forward, you know, how the bushes here are swaying. I just, I love it. Oh my god, okay. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so Claire is home for work, and we are going to come out here and tend to our garden a little bit. I believe that she is, yeah, well, she's kind of close to getting promoted again. I think I want to take her, I, I'm not really sure if I want to go the floral arranging, you know, <laughs> side of the career, or if I want to do, like, the botanist. Um, I think she's definitely interested in both, but, you know, also, I can see her one day owning her own you know, business, kind of like a flower shop. 
I think that would be something really cool to, you know, pursue with her. So possibly have her go like the flower arranging, you know, even though, you know, she can, she can enjoy both gardening and doing the flower, flower, flower I can't talk, floral arranging. Um, and then maybe, you know, like I said, open up her own business where we do that. But I think we should probably evolve everything that we have an option to evolve. Honestly, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? I, I think it's it's good. I think we want to evolve our plants, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's increased in quality. See how y'all see how much I know. I don't know much, <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna have her uh, harvest everything because we do need to do that for our our career, so we can move on up. Let's go ahead and evolve. Uh, yeah. All right. So I do want to take this here. Oh, that was my phone. I have a text message. Hi. <laughs> I do want to take this little flower arrangement that she has put together and possibly put it in here in the kitchen um, and kind of like show it off a little bit. So let's go ahead and just sell that and go back to live mode or live mode, whatever you want to call it. And didn't I just put this in my inventory? Am I crazy? Oh, okay. I must be. Oh, that is so pretty. Can you change the vase from here? Yeah, okay. Do we, I don't know, I kind of like the wood because it, it brings out the, you know, the wooded feature of the house. Yes, I think that's very cute. Stop, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm getting so confused. Okay. Yeah, I think we're probably about to just go ahead and wrap this part up here. Obviously, things didn't go well with uh, Philippe. And I think what we're going to do, uh, we did get his number and uh, we're going to give him a call real quick. I mean, where is he at? Does he, it's like she didn't even meet him last night. What, what, what is going on? Okay, there he is. Oh, y'all, I, I'm about blind. Something's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, her call him and just give him a little chat and just be like, hey, um, I just wanted to apologize, you know, for last night. Obviously, uh, there was some confusion and, you know, there's nothing going on between me and Wyatt. We're just friends and I know Stevie was kind of, you know, taking things a little bit the wrong way and it kind of interfered with our date. But, you know, I think that me and you are on the same page that, you know, we're not each other's type. And he's like, no, 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 it's cool. You're a cool girl, but I completely agree. And, you know, no hard feelings. You know, you and, you and Wyatt are cool. It was just, it was a really awkward situation for me. So I just kind of decided to leave. And she's like, yeah, well, I don't blame you. It was kind of awkward. Uh, even though her and Wyatt were just so in their own little world, they honestly didn't even notice until they left. But anyways, yeah, I think, like I said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this part up. We're going to have her just um, I don't think, did we ever finish? No, we need to come over here and finish the laundry, I think. Um, yeah, I think we had Wyatt clean the lint tray earlier, so unload and move it to the dry dryer. <laughs> Y'all, I love the fact that we have laundry in The Sims. I know some people don't like it, which I like it so much better in The Sims 4 than in The Sims 3 for some reason. I like things in The Sims 4 way better anyways, but... I think it just adds realism to the game, but I've realized that I don't ever do a lot of laundry. I neglect it, or I start it, and I always forget, so I need to, you know, make sure my Sims have clean clothes and do a little bit of a job of that. It looks like Bella. Is she a little bit dirty? I know she's uh, wanting some attention or something, but anyways, guys, sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted. Oh my gosh, it's raining again. I was like, yes, it finally stopped raining. It's been raining all day. This is like the rainiest summer ever, but it's almost fall time, so we're going to be planning some spooky day stuff. Um, she's not happy about it, but trust me, I am. <laughs> anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. She's getting a little tense and frustrated, and there's nothing really left to see here. So if you guys enjoyed this part, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comments, suggestions, and everything down below. And subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.